All right, I'm gonna try this. Yeah. I didn't die. Ron, what are we in right now? Uh, 2008 Ford F-150 King Ranch Edition. <laughs> That's an... <laughs> CD, CD stuck. You wanna know the best thing about intersection in this thing? You always get to go first. Right. No matter what, nobody ever wants to mess with you in this thing. Throw your ass around. Come on, buddy, you can do it. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Okay, so if you didn't know, this is Ron. Howdy. Ron has actually almost like a hidden history in my YouTube channel, just kind of under the table, because I've actually done your R33 Skyline, now it's gone. Yes, yeah. And also you had a Baltic Supra that was briefly on too. Yeah. And now we're in your car you've had pretty much the longest, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this truck. So About four years. Four years? Yeah. And you've driven this how far? How many times? Uh, there's a bug in here. There's a oh my god, there's, there's a freaking bee in here. Is it a bee? It's the King Ranch is trying to scare <laughs> me. Uh. Yeah, I had this for about four years. And uh, it's, it's lifted. Uh, BDS uh, lift lifted is an understatement, sir. Would you like to tell them how much it's lifted? Uh, it's a <laughs> six inch suspension and two inch body, so eight inch <laughs> altogether. Oh with some God. 37 by 13 and a halves on it. 37 by 13 and a halves. Yeah. No big deal. You're, no. you're making all the dub. Oh, there's a cop. I almost ran into it. <laughs> You are eye level yeah. with a 18 wheeler or yeah. semi truck. Damn basically. near, yeah, damn near. And I just, I remember the first time I met you was in the Skyline. Yep. I was like, okay, yeah, he likes Japanese cars and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. So do I. And then one day we go to the shop and you pull up in this thing. Yeah. And I was like, Ron, is that, is, is, is that yours? And you're yeah. like, hell yeah, it's mine. Yeah. It's King Ranch Edition, <laughs> man. I gotta have my truck. But you used to rock climb in this, right? Yeah, yeah, I used to crawl on this. So I put the uh, the custom uh, what, inch and a half spacers on it. So been at Michigan, Florida, Texas, Colorado, Oops. everywhere. Everyone tells you don't run spacers; they're liars. As long as they're manufactured right, like I got these custom made. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got them custom made in a shop cheap in Cheap Amazon, eBay, yeah, no, they're whatever. They're not China knockoffs. They're no. These are fully made for this car, spec to this car. I would just like to announce that this car is so America. I'm drinking the America Mountain Dew. It's very appropriate. And it tastes very delicious. Mountain Dew, give him a sponsor. Please? That'd be <laughs> great. I, you know, back in my old days, like when I first started the channel, I had a Mountain, <laughs> I had a Mountain Dew like every single video. Was really? Bad. Yeah, same with the Evo now. Same with the Evo now. Now you have an Evo, and how's yeah. that going? If anyone owns an Evo, you know exactly how it's going. Cut to last video. Yeah. For sale. Come on, buddy. What's the, what's the motor in this thing? It's a stock five. Four. Is that the Triton? Yeah. Triton V8? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I remember Alan used to have one of these. Yeah. But you yeah. got a Flowmaster you got a Flowmaster, Flowmaster Buffer. Exhaust. Or, yeah. no, or yeah, full Flowmaster, exhaust. Yeah, full exhaust, no caps. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really loud. Um, got 488 gears front and rear, the BDS suspension. I got wow. a couple of things done to this thing, but nothing done to the motor because it was, it's not a performance car. You don't need it. Yeah, it's just made to, I crawled with it, so it just needed yeah. to be really torquey. So the fly is still here. It yeah, really is in the back seat now. It wants its cameo. I know, it's like, uh, can I have you? Oh, get it? I got it, I got it. it. <laughs> the police report. How'd you crash? There was a fly yeah, in the car. Fly. Dude, this thing is vicious. Yeah, this thing's gnarly. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Uh, yeah. There we go, it's gone! Hey! There we go. So anyway, you gotta tell me the story about the skull up front. Cause that's like the best thing about this. Yes, thing. the skull <laughs> the skull up front. That's that's the what do you say? It's the uh most it's like unique the theme piece. of the car. Yeah, it is the theme. Because King Ranch, the skull, so so the thing is the horns up front came from a cabin I had in St. Ignace, Michigan. Okay. Um we sold it and I was cleaning it out and I had the horns in the barn. And I was yeah. like, you know what? Let's just be funny. And I actually roped, I had some just regular yarn, like big, big thick yarn. And I roped it to the front of my grill. Okay. I drove down. So I, I filled up with gas, stuff like that. People were like, oh, I like that. That's really cool. You know, they're real. I'm like, yeah, they're real. Yeah. Kept them on. A couple of days later, I drove to my dad's house. <clears throat> His neighbor comes across the street and uh, was like, hey, I got something that looked really nice on the front of that, that truck. I'm like, what? He's like, I'll be right back. He comes with this giant skull, like cow skull. I'm like, is that real? He's like, yeah. I'm like, dude, we gotta put it on now. So I like drilled it in and oh. lace lace wired it to the damn grill. So now they're one piece. And people get wow. ask me questions all the time. Is it real? Yes, it's real. 
people, kids love it. People just, it makes people smile. It's just different. Like, isn't it nuts how doing one thing to anything yeah. changes everything? Yeah. I mean, this lifted truck, although it would be very scary and tall, no matter what, yeah. you know, when you're merged out into traffic and you see this thing, it is 10 times more crazy with that one thing you did, yeah. you know, and I think that adds a lot more personality to the car because yeah. it's memorable. Like every time I think of you, I think of what you had before, but I also think about your truck. I go, if, if Ron's at the shop, he's going to be in the truck with the skull in the front. That's right. And I think everybody has their signature thing. You know, I had, I have Smurf, it's yeah. Grabber Blue, everything. You right. know, oh, that's David, obviously. Right. You know, you get people texting me or tweeting at me going, I saw you in the Netherlands. Yeah. I'm like, no, it's sorry, man. It was, just, it was a production color. A lot of people yeah. had it. Didn't you have, what'd you have before the Skyline? Huh. Do you really want to know? Yeah. <laughs> I had a 2004 SRT4 Neon. Got it, got it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. <laughs> that yeah. thing, when it was a stage three and I upgraded a few things with E85 and that thing was, I thought it was a rocket. Just, I mean, they're fun cars though. Yeah. It's just, I think it's one of those things though, man, that like everyone asks me to review those cars all the time, but they have problems. Yes, they do. You know, and it's not that I have anything against it. It just hasn't happened yeah. you know I had one and it, he knows who he is in Virginia that just need to go back and do his because yeah. it is never broken that's the one but I just haven't gotten around to it I mean it's not like personal it's just like people all the time They're like why have you this I'm like it's not because I didn't like it all right. but no around to back it. to the truck uh, do you have a different drive shaft and that kind of stuff in yeah it? it's a custom aluminum drive shaft okay so drive shaft gears yep. lift tires yeah fun yeah nothing done to the motor just everything's just well, wise. like the thing is, is like people ask me oh, the all the California time. Lips? Yeah, like oh no, those <laughs> oh those are gross. Shout out to anybody who's riding like this, no. like looking all up in the no. air. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. Can you please just be level, everybody? Just, please. I just, it makes me cringe it when does. I see that. This actually reminds me. I don't know if you ever saw it. It's okay, we didn't. It was an F three fifty. You like, like you walked up your thumbnails that you're yeah, looking at. Yeah, I couldn't get up yeah. there. I had to, I had to literally leave. And this reminds me of it so much because things have evolved so much in my life that that was like a huge start of my YouTube channel with that. And then I get to this truck and I just hopped on in. You know, <laughs> right. that one I was very scared of, very scared to go off the road. I was playing with the wheel a lot to try and yeah. keep it straight when it just I didn't need to put that much input in. Yeah. And now I'm just like I hopped in and drove it the first time. Yeah. You know, it's. It's funny how nothing scares you as much anymore once you've been around other stuff. Right. But people actually might want to know this too, is that what kind of tires are on it? Because they don't make that much noise. Yeah, they're not, not too, too loud for as big as they are. Um, they're Cooper STT Pros. Uh, they're 37 by 13 and a halves. They're not drony at all. Uh, I went from Nitto, everyone runs these Nitto Mud Grapplers. Yeah. They're the most noisiest, droniest tire I've ever ran in my life. You talking with the windows up, just like we are now. With, yeah. But the stereo up, and you can still you hear, hear the hear drone. The bass, like the subwoofer in yeah. your ear. And you can still hear yeah. the drone. It's just, it's such an uncomfortable tire. I mean, for the for what you're doing with it, if you want to take it off road, it's a great tire. But to yeah. ride it on the freeway, it wears uneven. It wears directly in the middle. Oh. Where, yeah, where you need the tread the That's most. Gross. Yeah, it wears directly in the middle, so it's just like a nice little little, uh, little, little oval you got going on. So. I went from that and I had some Falcon uh, Wild Peaks. Those lasted maybe 3,000 miles. Those were junk tires. That's a new record right there. Yeah. Yeah, nothing was wrong with my car though. Like, yeah. the alignment's fine, it drives fine, everything's good. Yeah, your car drives straight, you know? Yeah. So the, they put the SCT Pros on, they just came out. Um, I love Cooper tires, I, I love them. I have to say, the interior in here is very appropriate. Everything's tan or like saddle yeah, color. No, this, yeah, this is untreated. That's a, King Ranch editions, untreated leather. Like just, the, yeah. the console and yeah. everything. That's why this it stays so nice. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's untreated leather, which sucks. It, it sucks to keep it clean, but yeah, that's just it goes with it's the It's cool though. Yeah, yeah, you get in, you're like, okay, get the hordes up front. <laughs> All right, we're in the right place. But tell you what, I'm out here in my Ford King Ranch or Ford King Ranch, and everything's pretty good right now. I'm that's having right. a great time going back to the evolved tuning. <laughs> it sucks because I really wish I had them hooked up. I disconnected. I have six train horns on here. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I remember yeah, that. I have three up front and three in the uh, the spare tire. Just tell you what, how about one day we'll hook them back up and okay. then we'll just go prank people. Yeah. Rolling down the road, I never, I never ro rolled like next to this truck, but like 
when I had oh, to drop off my SRT4. Oh, it's driving next to you. Yeah. So like I look in my rear view, I'm like dropping my SRT off at the shop, <laughs> and I'm looking at it, I'm just like, holy <laughs> It's so intimidating in your rear view. Oh no, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Well, do you remember, okay, so out of all tuning, there's one theme you might have seen on my Snapchat. There's a train. There's a train that goes by the shop all Thomas. the time. We call it Thomas, like Thomas the Tank Engine. And I go, why do you do this, Thomas? And they block us in if they stop. Sometimes they stop for maintenance or they stop because they have to change a track. Yeah. So this train is there blocking us in. We can't go home. So that happens. There's a back way out of the shop mm, yeah. that only a car, like an SUV or off-road, can do. And one night, we wanted to go get food, but we were trapped by Mr. Thomas. Yeah. And we're like, oh, let's take the truck. I remember our clearance out of the trees <laughs> yeah. were like that. It's through trees yeah, and through a mud. Like, so mud. wide. It's so, well, you know, the, with the spacers and everything, yeah. it adds everything. I'm like, who am I going to hit? And we had to pull in the mirrors and everything. Yeah. yeah, we had to pull the mirrors in, all that good stuff. I always noticed that a lot of people, once they go into the truck world, they never leave it. You yeah, know, it's, it's like fun. a... It's Especially when you have a race car, it's practical. You yeah. need something to pull it. You well, have to. Now there's like, I made, I remember I made a video about two years ago. It's like, is having a truck like worth it? Yeah. You know, it's like, is it like, what is so great about a truck in America, especially? And it's a, uh, it's not that practical in a lot of other countries. It no. makes sense. Like Europe and stuff. I understand. Oh, no, you would never no. make it in Germany. No, the roads no, out there are so too skinny. So, but with this, it's like finding a truck as a daily driver is almost a no-brainer yeah. because you can haul stuff, you can tow stuff, you can have a nice interior now. Nowadays, the new F-150 inside, oh, the new well, Silverado, Lord. the new Dodge yeah. Rams, everything inside is nice because they have to compete with each other. Going down the highway, <laughs> and they were in every stair imaginable. Yeah, it's fantastic. Hi! Look at him, like this reaction. <laughs> I think he just mouthed, what the? <laughs> People can't see, they're like, oh yeah, no offense to little guys who drive yeah, big trucks. But yeah, yeah. that's using the stereotype that's like, oh, you must be a little guy driving a big truck trying to compensate yeah, for something. Yeah, right. No, no, it's like, no, no I just like it. Yeah, it's just what I do. I'm different. I look different. I like different things. So, but usually, our same, cars are a reflection of ourselves, you know. But at the same time, no California lead. Don't, can't yeah, do please it. don't. I know it's an inconvenience, I'll give you that. Living in a city, I, in, in Michigan, it wasn't that bad. Driving downtown in Detroit. Okay. Parking garages. You, I don't fit oh in any. Oh my god! I like cannot going to the airport, imagine. No thanks. Anything. No I don't thanks. fit. No thanks. It's it's bad. So like I literally have to like go up here and do like the the two finger test on the wall. I'm like, yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Not what gonna about drive throughs? You ever nick a drive through? No. No. Oh, okay. Not at all. I think drive throughs are like um. They're like what? Ten feet? Yeah. Ten to twelve feet? Yeah. This is uh this comes out to seven. I want to say seven seven three. So still a big guy. Still, yeah, still pretty tall, but it's it's impractical for city. In the country, it, it, obviously it works. I mean, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I didn't realize that until I went downtown. I'm just like, yeah, no, this, no I way. can't parallel park no anywhere. Way. I got to park really far. Yeah, no parking garages. And it's, We went to the Botanical Gardens. That's right. Okay. I couldn't fit. I couldn't fit in the, in the garage. They had to give me VIP. They gave me VIP out of pity. Out of pity? Yeah, yeah, out of pity. They gave me VIP because I had my kid with me. We were going to the oh, uh, the lights for Christmas. I, was like, oh, I drove no. all the way out here, man. I was like, can I please? They're like, okay, man, you got it. So like, I was, this ugly ass, lifted, <laughs> redneck looking F-150 is parked next to these like Maseratis. Oh my God. Like Lambos, there's a Mercedes, and I'm parked right, right in the middle. You can't miss me. But kudos to that guy out there, man. He was, he was well, about it. Well, on that note, I think it's a good way to end the video. That's a good way to look at the truck that somebody even at that high up like mindset let you in. So right. That's pretty cool. But anyway, thanks for letting me drive the truck. I appreciate yeah, it. Time, it's a, always a pleasure. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you all. Okay, bye.